Now I know the question that you are probably asking yourself, Mary. I have found this job on the job bank website. I am in India, Pakistan, the Philippines, Kenya. I am not in Canada generally. How do I get a work permit? Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Mary, the farm girl. Today we are looking at the temporary foreign worker jobs in Canada and I'm going to explain to you the work permit, how you can apply for a work permit because as you have seen in my previous video, the employers, they require you to have a work permit. So for you to increase your qualification for these jobs, you need to have a work permit. But maybe you don't know how to apply for the work permit. That is what we are going to be reflecting on today. So stick around. I know you value your success. Therefore, subscribe and join us in this career growth journey. There are two programs for foreign workers to work in Canada. The first one is called the Temporary Foreign Worker Program, which is what we are going to reflect on today. The second one is called the Seasonal Agricultural Worker Program, or the SAWP. This SAWP is only applicable for people living in Caribbean countries, the likes of Mexico, Jamaica. So if you are in Caribbean, you can apply through SAWP. However, if you are out of this country, you need to work uh, in the agricultural farms in Canada. You fall under the Temporary Foreign Worker Program. Under this program, you must have an employer-specific work permit for you to be able to work in Canada. And as you can see from the job uh, website or the job bank website, most of the companies require you to have a work permit. This way, if you apply for the job to them, they are going to send you the employer-specific letter, the job offer, so that you can be able to apply for the work permit via the employer-specific uh, letter. So, I know this is a little bit contradictory, but I am going to explain to you guys in a simple language that you are going to understand. So, this is what happens. For you to qualify to work as the agricultural operator, either you are going to be there working as a farm worker, a general farm worker, a farm laborer, a tractor operator, a machine operator, you need to have a major document. And this is the work permit. So, in Canada, they offer two types of work permits. The first one is employer-specific work permit. The other one is the open work permit. So, for the employer-specific work permit, it is needed for you to work in agricultural farms, in these activities for farm workers. I hope we are together. All right? Good. So, before you apply for the employer-specific work permit, you must have a positive labor impact assessment copy of the employer that you're going to be working for. They should give you the LMIA document showing they have a positive record in hiring temporary foreign workers. Okay? Good. Then they should also send you a job offer letter or a contract. So this is the job offer that is going to detail your working conditions the duration of the contract and the salary that you're going to get while you work for this employer. That is why so many companies on the job bank website, they tell you to have a work permit. So if they ask you for a work permit, you should send them an email, tell them to give you the job offer and the LMIA you know, showing that they have a positive record so that you can be able to apply for the job. All right? Good. So the Canadian government requires agricultural farm uh, employers to give temporary, work, uh, top temporary foreign workers uh, jobs only if they have work permits. The work permit that you should have for you to operate in the agricultural work uh, activities, it is an employer-specific work permit. What does an employer-specific uh, work permit mean? It means that you can only work for that very employer that has given you that uh, 
letter for you to work for them. Not unless you apply for an open work permit. Are we together until that point? So, before you apply for the employer-specific work permit, your employer should send you the labor impact assessment document. This should show that they have a positive record by the government. So when they employ temporarily foreign workers, the workers do not have complaints. So they should send you the LMIA document and a job offer, all the job contracts. Okay? When you are given the job offer and you are given the LMIA document, then you should be able to, to apply for the employer-specific work permit. Now I know the question that you are probably asking yourself, Mary, I have found this job on the job bank website. I am in India, I am in Pakistan, I am in the Philippines, I am in Kenya, I am in Uganda, I am not in Canada generally. How do I get a work permit? So, in that case, you should apply for an open work permit. However, there is a disclaimer for the open work permit because the open work permit only requires you to apply if you are under these specific situations. You are an international student in Canada. You are graduated. You are a student who is no longer able to meet the cost of your studies. You are an employer specific work permit, but you are being abused at your workplace or you applied for a permanent residence in Canada and the process is not uh, done yet. You can also apply for an open work permit if you are a spouse or a common law partner of a skilled worker or an international student. So those are the conditions that you should apply for an open work permit. So this leaves us as agricultural farm workers aiming to work in agricultural farms in Canada with just one option, the employer specific uh, work permit. That is the one you should have. The moment that they tell you you should have a work uh, permit, these employers, they are saying you should have the open work permit so that they can now send you the LMIA document and the job offer letter. Then you can be able to apply for the employer specific work permit. I hope you have understood that equation because it is very important. Mostly you see those people asking for work permits in the job bank website and it limits you from applying for that job. That is why if an employer has said that they do not need you to have a work permit, run for that job, especially if you are not in Canada yet. I hope that you have understood that w agricultural uh, farm work activity, you must have a, an employer specific work permit. If you do not have and you have an open work permit, then you can ask your employer or the person looking for that job to send you the LMIA document and the job offer so that you can apply for the employer specific work permit. So I'm not going to explain any further. And I hope that you guys have understood. And until next time, make sure that you subscribe, like, share, and comment. In case you didn't understand something, I will be down below on the comment section to explain to you further according to your question. And until next time, bye-bye.